Hi, today I want to show you my Siemens uh, SVHS video recorder. I bought this in Nuremberg, Germany, uh, March 1991. It's over 30 years now. It's a SVHS uh, video recorder FM639 with uh, new QSM technology. I have no idea what that means. And I still got a receipt here. I bought this from First Market in Nuremberg. And it cost almost 2000 D Mark. And I also bought something 20 D Mark here. I have no idea what that was. Maybe cable or something like that. So let's have a closer look to the front. And here you can open it. It allows you to dub the audio track. Basically we play the stereo track and mix with an external audio source and record to the mono track. So you can remix the audio and keep the original video track without losing the image quality. And at the bottom here I can open it and you can see here is the front input for video and audio and also the headphones and this is the back of the recorder with the SCART output and the antenna in and out. This doesn't look right. I don't know what's that for, but something has slipped away. This is the part of here. I have replaced this part with a small piece of cardboard because I can't find anything similar in house. So I'm sure it won't last for long. But my point is I just need the VCR for transfer few more cassette to my computer and that's all. This rubber belt doesn't look good at all. It's already hardened. I think I need to try to order one. This uh, rubber belt I removed from the VCR. You can see it's really hard. I've ordered some replacement. This is a pack of 20 different sizes from eBay. Let's have a look. There are plenty of them. I hope there is a right size here. Okay. So this is the closest I could get. Uh, I need to open seven screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I lost one. This VCR has been in workshop too many times. So. Okay, now I need to remove this here. Okay, I need to turn it around to show you the, from the other side. Now you can see I have already removed the rubber belt from here. And now I have to unscrew this part to put it back. So, I just put a cassette to try and you can see it's running and I'm using a capture dongle and here is my laptop.
you can see the picture is running smoothly, no tracking problem. And I think it's fixed. All done. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give it a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.